today. Brand new. <laughs> one time only price. You're supposed to say one time only price. <laughs> one time only price. Okay. Mark Charles so Masilli is here with us. You. Mark Charles Masilli yep, is me, here with me. us to talk about with? six of the seven and a half ounce <laughs> bags of the gourmet seasoned pretzel sticks. And I said it earlier, Children's they're idea. different because yep. of the way that they're made. But now, all of these incredible flavors have just been up to notch with a brand new try, try, flavor. Try, 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 try. All right, she never had it. She told me she didn't want to try it before the Mexican show. Mexican street corn. Mexican street corn. I am in love. Mexican street corn. Tell me it doesn't what? taste zesty lime, roasted corn. It's a Mexican street corn in a pretzel stick. What? Never been done before. Mm. You can only find it here, folks. This. Yeah. This. Come on, what do you think? No, I in love. a pretzel That's stick. That's really good. Right? Just please take wow. a moment, everybody watching us. Mexican street corn mm. on a pretzel stick. Wow. So give us a I backstory. <laughs> give us a pop daddy backstory sure. and let's so, get into the flavors. 2013, mm -hmm. two guys in Michigan mm -hmm. want to start a pretzel company to flavor sticks. Now you have to understand something. Rods have been flavored, nuggets have been flavored, yeah. the, the, the braids, but not sticks. So they wanted to go to, they went to Altoona, Pennsylvania, which is the capital of pretzels. Right. Did not know that. And get that. If you want good pretzels, you go to Altoona, uh, it's Pennsylvania. It's a Pennsylvania thing. It's pretzels a Pennsylvania thing. Mm -hmm. And they took great ingredients. They took the ends, and you'll see it in the close-ups, broken ends. What's broken ends mean? It's an industry term. When they leave and don't pinch the sides. Mm -hmm. Why is that important? Because the center of that pretzel will now absorb all of the flavor. These are done in small batches by hand. So when they put garlic parm in there, they're tossing garlic parm by hand in small batches mm -hmm. in Michigan and bringing it to you. You've never tasted a pretzel. There is no other pretzel like this. See that color right there? You know what That's the, it right there. You know what I equate this to? What? Is when you put the re-diffuser sticks into the oil yeah. and it brings Sucks it all it up. up. Yeah, yep. you can use that. It's yours can, to have. You yeah, can use, yeah I can, I'll that. take it. I'll take all it. Right. So reads of of room, room fragrance. Right. We, we love to call it no dip required pretzels. No dip required. It is the first pretzel worthy to be on a charcuterie board. You the got end. it. So let's talk about all the yep. different flavors. And we can start with America's favorite is the yellow, yellow mustard. mustard. I mean, first company to use yellow mustard. Folks, mm -hmm. I got to point this out to you. If you've bought a pretzel with mustard, it's always been honey mustard, mm. not yellow mustard. And by the way, which yellow mustard? Starts with an F and sounds like a language, and okay. you buy it at the ballpark with your hot dog. That's the same mustard they're using. Get this, guys, right now. Get that. I know, I know you're watching right now. Your hubby's gonna love, love, love that with an ice cold IPA. Gonna love that right? with a beer. Mm -hmm. And love anything it. barbecue backyard mm -hmm. with, the, with the mustard, I think. Pretzels. Um, the old, America's oldest brewery right in Pennsylvania. Yin goes with these Yin perfect pretzels. They do. Phenomenal. Perfectly. Well, this is smoke right. off mm -hmm. the. Okay. Charge. If you, what I love about these pretzels, folks, is when you put them. In your mouth. You do not have to look at the bag. No. The flavor is tried and true. Through it, it tastes the minute you touch your you lips. Know what? Okay? That That's smoke Gouda. That, oh, oh, is it Gouda for you? I was waiting. Gouda. I was waiting. Mm -hmm. So the fact is, the smoke Gouda was created. Mm -hmm. Why? We wanted charcuterie level pretzels, and it. this is it. That is it. Okay. Next. That is How do you it. get Gouda cheese in a pretzel? Well, you take the the, uh, the all the ingredients of it, yeah. and you hand toss it. Oh my god. That's the whole thing. That's so good. So Next. cinnamon sugar. So then we have a little sweet. We did a couple savories now, and now we got a little sweet. Love it. Sweet is a churro. You guys know a churro? Mm -hmm. Okay. You mm -hmm. got the little sugar. You got yeah. a little butter, and it's cinnamon mm -hmm. all in there. That's a little mini churro in a pretzel. More snap than a regular churro. Correct. So that's gonna go with ice cream, mm -hmm. folks. By the way, any dessert or ice cream, right. put it in an ice cream sundae. It'll, it'll fly out. Maple brown butter. Maple brown sugar. So Canadian maple syrup. Not mm -hmm. just any maple syrup. It's Canadian maple syrup. We actually have the Canadian flag on the actual package. Oh, wow. To prove to you that this is coming from Canada, the maple syrup. And, of course, it's that French toast. That's mm -hmm. what I think this look, it tastes like. Brown French butter. French toast and or the perfect waffles, the like perfect our waffles. chicken and waffles. Six resealable yeah. bags yeah, is man. what you're getting. You get all of these. It's not a choice of. Two more. Two more. Garlic mm -hmm. parm. We model it after the famous breadsticks at that great place that's got an Italian mm -hmm. chain all over the country, mm -hmm. and that tastes just like the garlic stick, okay? Wow. And last but not mm -hmm. least, oh my gosh, the Mexican street corn. I cannot tell you they nailed it. You cannot buy this anywhere except today here with us. I'm Is telling you. Is that right? You cannot get this on the like website. You? Go to go to bobdaddy.com. Ain't going to be there. Who, who came up with the idea? Mexican that's them. That's, the, that's them. It's, it's really good. It's really good. You know what I think the inspiration mm -hmm. was? The churro with the cinnamon sugar, and they were like, what else? What other Mexican flavors could we do? So there's a chili, but it's not spicy. There's no, no, no. no spice to it at all. Zesty, so lime, zesty lime, roasted chili. corn. Yeah. That's the flavors mm -hmm. that are in you, you know, the You know what this deserves? What? Maggie on the rocks with salt. Oh, right yeah. Oh, that's a great right? idea. Mexican mm -hmm. street corp. But right? I'm, I'm yeah. thinking, great guys, you might put Taco the, Tuesday night, and you add Tuesday this night? with it? You might put the sugar on the rim instead, because this has enough of the salt oh, in it. So okay. good. 
Okay. You oh taste the lime. Gosh. And you know what? Let's Chef. have a couple of margaritas and we'll talk about it. Let's figure out. <laughs> right now. We'll argue so, about it. So end, Chef, the end the conversation. <laughs> Chef Carrie. Um, Somebody bring in the margaritas. Go ahead. Chef Carrie uh, style this. And you know what she said to me, which was very interesting? Mm -hmm. She goes, every time she tech, took another bite of the street corn, there was different strength, strengths of flavors. And you know what? That proves the hand batch and mm -hmm. the hand tossing. She yeah. goes, why is that? I go, because it wasn't done in a machine. So a couple so. things. Mm -hmm. How long are they fresh once we get them home? Nine months. Nine months in the bag sealed. Yep, sealed. Once the bag is open, the party's on. Yeah. Um, perfect oh little gosh. snack to go aside your, you know, chicken sandwich that we just made. Yep. Also, mm -hmm. with people coming over now, and you know, springtime yep. coming over. I yep. mean, this is made for it. I'm this thing you. is hanging March off like Madness the charcuterie board, right here. no like fancy wire, schmancy, folks. and yeah. no, like just right there. Get your favorite mm -hmm. uh, really unique pepperoni. Get your favorite cheese and put these oh. pretzels with it, and you're gonna go. Oh, what is that? It would be good, with, oh, would be good with a um, a dip though. Like a dip. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I, I could see the Mexican street corn with maybe a ranch or something like that. A little fresh on it. Or a something. little creme fraiche. Oh, God. Queso. A little whiz. I mean, not for anything. A little cheese whiz. <laughs> not for on. anything, but a little cheese whiz. <laughs> not for anything, but a little no, cheese whiz. That's goes just our idea. So this collection So here's is the thing. The uh, price on this goes up at the end of our show, which means at 7 p.m., no longer available at this price, $36.98. We do offer auto delivery. So if you want all of these to ship on a regular every 60 days for one year, you can do that by locking it to auto delivery. No obligation, cancel at any time by calling customer service. So that's a good thing. You get all six flavors. Yep. Cinnamon sugar, yellow mustard, garlic parmesan, the brand new Mexican street new. corn, <laughs> and the smoked gouda. And the reason why, the flavor is so good is because of what Broken you're showing so us right there. I have three different flavors in my hands, guys. I don't know if we can get into this, but I want to show you the proof on how what this broken end concept is. It's a it's an industry term in snacks, okay? Look at this. These are three different flavors. Do you see the three different colors? Because they're broken ends. So when the each flavor that I picked up is hand tossed in small batches in Michigan, that's what's happening. It's absorbing all that flavor into that pretzel. So you have it all the way through, not just a coating on the outside. Isn't that amazing? Can you hear that crunch every time I, and it was one pretzel that I bit into that one pretzel. gave me that crunch. And you don't have it stuck on the roof of your mouth, by the mm. way. It's mm. not that kind of pretzel, mm -mm. so it's not gonna be dry on you. You don't need a dip. And you were so talking about good. desserts, snacks, uh, Taco Tuesday, right. charcuterie boards. I've never met a pretzel that was that versatile, that elevated mm -hmm. the way it is now. And that's and, what I'm going to You know, it doesn't break your teeth. Yep. I love that there's so much flavor in these, and it's not just the plain old pre uh, pretzel. Yep. One thing that we do very well here in Pennsylvania is pretzels. And yes. this has now taken the game up to the new level because each one of these has a distinct flavor, a combination of both savory and sweet in this yep. offer in resealable bags. So again, you can snack to your heart's delight, March yeah, right. Madness. Um, for That's mine. No, you get it after the show. <laughs> <laughs> she already told me where to put the bag. Uh, you notice I took that and I, put it I, off I, to the I side, right? I didn't notice how I took it back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll put it back no in No worries. It. Guys, if this, this is worth the price of admission. Sure Please is. try this brand new, premiering today, only can find it here, Mexican street corn. If you love lime, roasted corn, mm -hmm. you have everything about a Mexican street corn that you love on the kernel or off, this is it. We mimicked it, and they did an amazing job. Hit it out the park, seriously. Hit it out the park. 1,200 orders placed. Continue in the process of placing your order at 91214. I think this is the first time we've actually been in person. In person. Presenting oh, this you. after so many different times of doing it. We've both been loving the product for I'm all these years. So, so glad to have you back in the studio. It's good to see you, my good friend. Thank you so much. Give me my bag. I'm good. <laughs> and I'm taking my tea. You have your tea. Enjoy your see tea. See you later. All right. Here's a quick update um, on what's happening in the show. Rick?